Today, the DSA National Leadership banned a discussion on breaking with all wings of the Democratic Party, including the so-called progressive wing, and taking a few small steps towards helping to build a mass working class political party in the United States. Um, and what happened was that I had submitted a proposal to the National Convention along those lines. And there was supposed to have been a discussion on that proposal, as well as several others um, on the same issue, uh, at a conference call of delegates to the convention today. And I was supposed to have made a presentation on that proposal. But after two and a half hours, when the time came for that subject matter to be discussed, my proposal was mysteriously removed from the agenda, and I suddenly found myself removed from that conference call. So if I had been able to make that presentation, here's what I would have said, that there is a crisis in the U.S. working class, a crisis that is exemplified by the fact that it appears that one-third of union members who voted, voted for Donald Trump. And the essence of this crisis is defined by the absence of a mass working-class political party in this country. But as we know, crisis is really um, another term for opportunity. And the tremendous opportunity that exists out there is exemplified by the smashing success of Jeremy Corbyn, um, who nearly won the election for, uh, uh, in, in Britain uh, just a few short weeks ago. And DSA can play a role in helping to build a working class political party. Now, what would such a party be? Such a party would organize the U.S. working class. It would help it to, um, it would serve as an organizing center in the streets, for the struggle in the streets, in the communities, in schools, in the workplaces, and yes, in the unions too, for workers to fight for their own interests. And it would link up that, uh, those struggles with the electoral struggle, so that whether it be struggles around the issues like um, the police murdering black people with absolute impunity right across the country, whether it be the issue of health care for profit, whether it be the issue of gentrification or the issue of the devastation of our environment by, the cap by capitalism. All those issues would be presented as issues for the working class, as a class conscious of its own independent role and its own interests, for that class, for our class, to resolve, acting in, of, and by, and for itself. That is what a mass working class political party would be. And what my proposal was, was that we run a series of candidates for local office, not for governor or senator or, any, or even president or anything like that, but like for city council or for board of education, that would link up those uh, local issues with the necessity of building a mass working class party and link it up with explaining that all wings of the Democratic Party are, are th that the Democratic Party is one of the two parties of the owners of capital, of the capitalist class, and that the so-called progressive wing, the so or really the liberal wing of the Democrats, that all they are is bait for the trap, and that you cannot support the liberal Democrats, and nor can you run, in particular, nor can you run as a Democrat, while uh, on the one hand, and call for a mass working class party on the other. The logic, the very logic of those two positions is completely contradictory. And all of the political history of the United States of the last 70 or more years shows that that cannot be done. All of that history also shows that what we are doing, what the labor movement, for instance, is doing, has been a disastrous failure. It's been a failure in terms of changing the political direction of the United States. And even more important, it's been a failure as far as helping workers develop a consciousness as being part of a class, of the working class. So I had wanted to make this presentation, and I felt that, and I still feel, that the DSA national leadership can and should organize and encourage a discussion and a debate around this issue, including 
whether we can support any Democratic candidates, and most especially whether we can help to build a working class political party and at the same time run our own members as Democratic Party candidates, I think that that is absolutely impossible. And I think that we need to have a discussion around those issues. Unfortunately, the DSA national leadership banned that discussion today, and they didn't even show me the courtesy of letting me know that this discussion was not going to happen. It shows the lack of respect that the DSA leadership has for their own members. And I urge the DSA members to take this issue up, to insist that we need to have this discussion, and also to contact me if you want any further information. Thank you.